Oh, is this Nikki? I'm not really au fait with the Barbie world. Is she Nikki? Very pretty. Very nice. It's not one of those nice teas. This one is Kenyan Earth. Or Kenyan Earth. Have you like... I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Very, very nice. Very nice tea. And I like the tins as well because I'm terrible at collecting things so I collect these Williamson's tea tins as well. You've seen my Tinkerbell in my... If you've seen my St Patrick's Day video you'll have seen Tinkerbell. I was just, um, I've unboxed some more of my Barbies. I'd already unboxed Monique. I've decided, yeah, I've called her Monique. But looking at the different articulation they've got the thick different articulation you can do with these dolls. This one's got quite good articulation. She can sit easily enough. Um, oh, her head's gone on one side. Let's have that the right way. This is Daisy, and look at beautiful hair on her. Daisy Pop, as I think that's what she's called. This one's called Emerald Check. I thought, shall I call her Emerald? And I thought, no, I, I, I was going to call her Angelique, but Monique. This one, I've decided I'm going to keep her name Daisy, and I'm going to call her Daisy. There, articulations they've got. She can sit easily enough. And, uh, yeah. So that's Daisy. And this is Harmony, I've decided. I could have, I was going to call her Fancy, because her... Let's say her professional name is Fancy Flowers, so she could be called Fancy. I think that's a, a name. Um, I'm sure I've heard people with the name Fancy. Now, I love the way she's standing. She looks like a fashion model. She's one of my favourite dolls. And, um, of course, because of her unique stance, I think, yeah, I've got a Ra I think the Raquel doll that I was going to call Lana, I think she's got the same stance, and there's another Barbie I want, a doll that's up in dots, is it, or something, polka dots, she's got the same stance, it's what I call a fashion model stance, but of course it does mean then you've got like a limited, limited range of movement, that her arms could come out like this, 
and um, her legs do move like you know she's taking a big running jump or you can have them the other way but so that that one goes out at the back and then she's taking a running jump but she doesn't sit very easily because this leg won't move that well and um, she can stand with her legs apart but uh, I like that stance you know I, I think it's very elegant or might be more elegant with her arms down oh hang on her, she, her thumb gets caught in her hair and pulls the curls out <laughs> well that's not very elegant is it let's put her arms back how they're meant to be but she has got a little range of movement but it is slightly limited by her model girl fashion girl stance but i love it i think she's i think she looks so elegant i love this stance i'm going to try and find some more barbies that stand like this i don't think there are many unfortunately apart from this one and my raquel doll that i've thought shall i call her lana or not or the cleopatra looking one i don't know but um I do like, uh, uh, the only other one I've seen is the dot, dot, polka dot Barbie, which I haven't yet got. So I'm hoping the entertainer's still got some in stock when I get there. But they seem to sell out quite quickly, some of these dolls. I'm hope I, I, oh, I was so disappointed it doesn't look like the light up heart Barbies, the heart hands that light up. They're apparently selling for $4 in clearance in, in Walmart. But of course they, they're not going to get to this country. But the Nikki doll, I wondered if this one was Nikki, because um, the Nikki doll looks like this one of mine, in the pictures I've seen anyway. So I'm hoping to get her soon. And then I wouldn't mind the Barbie one as well, the, the blonde Barbie as well. But um, yeah, so I like to, um, you know, because most of my fashionistas are still in their boxes, so it's about time they were unboxed and taken out of their boxes. Oh, I've left all the shamrocks around because I was doing my St. Patrick's Day manicure. Put one of my party girl ones that was free. I forgot to include this in my items free with magazines and are they any good um, video, but yeah, there's some good things in here, I can tell you. Really, really good, but I won't focus on that now. So, yeah. There's the micellar or micella water I got last week from Poundland. So Harmony's waving bye bye for now. And uh, should we get rid of the shamrocks? No, we we'll leave them there for now. It's not St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, but by the time this video goes up, it'll be quite long past St. Patrick's Day, I should imagine. But bye for now. We'll be back with more items if I get any more, any more dolls if I get them. I'm a mad doll mood at the moment with uh, with different doll dollies. So, yeah. Oh, we're getting white lines. But as you know, with my videos, it isn't just concentrating on hauls. It's a vlog as well. And, um, Uh, my channel isn't monetized, so if I use music which makes ads come up, that's the reason why. But um, I just, I've just i been getting a lot of people wanting sub for sub and all this. I don't do that, so I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anyone, but my channel's not monetized. I don't make anything from it, and I don't do sub for sub. I don't, you know, I subscribe to people who, are, if I look at their channels, and I think, oh yeah, I'd like to subscribe, but I'm not going to subscribe to everyone just for the... Because that's not how, how I want to use YouTube. I mean, there's plenty of people who do. You don't need me, you know, me to. But um, I'll check out someone's channel. And um, I, I have done and subscribed to people that I've liked their channels. But, you know, I, I have people saying, um, I've subbed to you. Will you sub to me now? Well, I think, well, they probably haven't even looked at hardly any of my videos. They just click on one, probably think, oh, this is someone desperate for subscribers. Well, I'm not. I never ask for any. And because then I think those that do subscribe to me do so because they really, really want to, because they like my what I put in my content. If people subscribe, because I think, oh, yeah, I'll subscribe to this one. She'd be desperate. She'll subscribe back. Well, after a time, and they realised I haven't subscribed, they'll unsubscribe, so I'll then lose those subscribers. But then, hopefully, I'll be left with the ones that 
really do want to subscribe and um because all the people I've subscribed to on my original channel originally because that was my main my first channel I didn't want to say to any of those people oh I've subscribed to you I want you to subscribe to me now or will you please subscribe I expect you to because I didn't expect them to and not one of those people have subscribed to me and I've subscribed to hundreds of people but then I don't expect them to because you know that's not the way you're supposed to use YouTube and um I'm sorry if it sounds boring I don't I'm not trying to upset anyone but some people might think, well, that's the way you use YouTube. It isn't. It's not supposed to be. It's the way a lot of the people do, but that doesn't mean to say that I'm going to be one of them. So, yeah, if people want to subscribe because they like, they're interested in seeing dolls or baby lips videos or nail polish reviews. And again, I don't pretend to be a professional doing nail polish videos. I, I'm someone who goes into a shop, buys a nail polish, brings it home, does it myself and then wants to see how it lasts for the whole week. So, and that's probably why my videos go on long because I feel the need to explain everything. But um, anyhow, another feast your eyes on the lovely dollies. Oh, they're so beautiful. Bye for now. I've got a cold, but it's quite warm in here with um, the heat on. But um, I keep feeling one minute I'm cold, the next minute I'm hot because I've got this. I've had this cold. I only just got over one cold recently, and now I've got another one. Yeah, they seem to be coming quite quickly. But um, hang on, I was fo going to focus on another. Oh, where's my other hall item? I had something else. So I was going to show you, and I took the cardigan off, and uh, oh, yeah. I think the cold's making me, uh, I can't think straight with this cold, because it's um, not pleasant, it stops you sleeping properly as well. These are made by Thorntons. And here we have Monique and Matilda, BFFs. Best friends forever. Yay! They look good together, don't they, with their similar hairstyles? Monique and Matilda. Yay! Oh, she's nice, isn't she? Well, they're all nice. I mean, all these Barbies. I like the way she's standing. I like these poses. I mean, people have complained and said, oh, well, they can't stand up. But none of the Barbies can stand up. It even tells you on the back, doll cannot stand alone. So none of the Barbies can actually stand up, even the ones with flat feet and straight legs. The articulated ones can't stand on their own either. But, oh, I do like these poses very elegant like a model oh, she's pretty well they're all pretty I mean I always I say it as if none of the others are but they're all lovely You can have a skirt like 
pulled up or, or down a bit lower so it's like a hipster style hip skimming style I think that's how it's meant to be actually it's sort of probably meant to be like that but if she's cold she'd have it up higher I don't know what to call this one. I think I don't want to call her just another Barbie. I think she's different enough to the regular Barbies to be given her own name. Raylin, perhaps? Rayel? I don't know. I'll think of something for her. I like the stamps. Monique and Matilda. Monique and Matilda, there's their shadow. Look at their shadow. together don't they arm in arm Problems with the um, web cap, the, no, well, the computer screen going by it. I'm having to hold this up at an angle again. You can just see the bottom of the the laptop here because I'm having to hold it up like this. If I let it go down flat, then the picture completely goes. Everything goes white. I just wanted you to show you these two together. They look so cute together, don't they? And I've changed my mind about calling tartan skirt Matilda. I'm going to. Uh, well, I think I have. Because this, this one, as you know, that if you've been watching my videos, the green check, emerald check is called Monique. And this one, oh, sorry about the radio in the background, but I can't leave the touch, I can't get up to turn, hang on. I'll try and do it from like this angle, turn it down. Um, I've called her Monique and this one, this one is Matilde. I've decided she's going to be called Matilde instead of Matilda. There's just a difference in spelling, isn't there? And I know they're both French, because Matilda's not a French name, is it? And Matilda's spell M-A-T-I-L-D-A, I do believe it, it is, isn't it? And Matilde is M-A-T-H-I-L-D-E. So, yeah, it's got an H in it and an E on the end instead of the A. But I could still call her Matilda sometimes if I wanted to, but, um, yeah, she's going to be... So this is Monique and Matilde. There they are. There they are. Friends. They even have the same hairstyle, only Monique's hair is up in a little bun and Mathilde has she obviously has shorter hair and it's um it's frizzier. So but they look like they could be sisters, don't they? I'm sure they've got the same faces. Same same face mould, but they're so cute together, two friends.
Lippy Lulu from where did I, go? I didn't get her from the entertainer I got her for a penny cheaper I do believe in to a toy master shop yeah so there's Lippy Lulu I wasn't going to get her but I thought well I collect the shoppy dolls apart from the chef club ones I haven't bothered to get the chef club ones but um she's quite nice like the glitter in her hair no I'm waiting to get um Coco Let. I want to get Coco Let and uh, Polly Polish and Pieretta and uh, is it Lucy Smoothie? Somebody's Smoothie. And uh, the, the um, there's one with a floral one that I've got the little shoppy one, the, the green and ye the yellow and green Daisy type one. I'd like her as well because they've released a shoppy doll of her now. But yeah, so there we go. Oh. So, oh, I've shown you Pineapple Lily, haven't I? <laughs> another one of those from 17 and another marshmallow from Essie. This is actually the only marshmallow I've got with a wide Essie brush. And there's this that was free with any Essie product you buy, a hand cream. And that's nice mint. Yeah, Heyman, Hellman's real mayonnaise. Free range eggs. I haven't seen that wrapper before on there. And I got these from Sainsbury's dark chocolate stem ginger cookies. Wheat free, gluten free. Not that I particularly need that, but I just I quite like these. Nina's, because she's called Nina, I put Nina's top on Barbie because she looked cold, but she still works. Hang on. Hang on. Barbie was cold, so Nina has given her her top to wear. Or rather, I've given her Nina's top. <laughs> Nina's given her her top to wear because Barbie was cold. These are quite nice. I'm not going to use my webcam because I've had problems getting it to work, so... Got the Doctor Who magazine from Sainsbury's. Got these from Sainsbury's. I still miss my Thornton's cafe that they closed down. Oh, it was so lovely. I think these are the chocolates I like the best, those ones, but um, I had to have something to remind me. And the, this was 8 50 in Sainsbury's. I don't like the hat that she's wearing. I should take that off, but she's got a pretty face. I haven't got any of those. There's her other outfits. I think I'll keep her in this one. I put it on. Haven't got this one, haven't got that one, haven't got that one, or that one. So, um, I've got two of the others in this set with the um, clothes, but what's her shoes like? She's pretty. Well, they're all pretty, aren't they? Let's face it. Let's have a look at Nina. The trouble is, when you release their necklaces, they don't go about all over the place, but I've got her hand up, it keeps her hair out of the way. They're best friends. Oh, isn't that sweet? They're best friends.